This is more advanced mathematics. I wanted to make a quick video to show you a book from my collection on mathematics that is considered a little bit more advanced. This is a nice copy, although it's torn here, it's cut. And as a collector of math books, this is awesome because it has the dust jacket. But the dust jacket, if you don't know, it's, it's this piece here. And books that come with this, usually they command a higher price. The book is called Concepts from Tensor Analysis and Differential Geometry, written by Tracy Y. Thomas, Graduate Institute for Mathematics and Mechanics, Indiana University, Bloomington, Indiana, Academic Press, New York and London. What a nice copy. Mathematics and Science and Engineering, Volume 1. Beautiful book, right? Let's look on the back before we open. Let's just examine the dust jacket because it is one of the nice things that you get with a book like this. Mathematics and Physics and Engineering by J. Irving, the University of Southampton, and N. Mullenix, Birmingham College of Technology. 1959, 833 pages, $11.50. Cool. Right? I don't think I own this book. I think as soon, I think as soon, oh look, Solutions of Problems. I think as, uh, as soon as I'm done recording this video, I'm going to try to find this book <laughs> because I want to buy it. I, I don't know what it is. Reviews. What's this? Many topics in advanced calculus for engineers and physicists are found in this remarkable volume. Wow. Okay. There are 82 pages of appended material, many problems in their solutions. Because of its wide scope, it is suitable for classes where shorter texts suitable to individual needs are not available. Okay. All right. More praise there. Yeah. I, I'm shocked. Cool. So going to check that book out as soon as this video is over. Many recent mathematical theories can be applied to a number of different scientific areas. Many scientific areas of significance require a cross-section of mathematical theories for their successful treatment. Interesting. The purpose of this new series of monographs is to present the theory and application of these recent scientific and mathematical developments. Now, this is pretty advanced. This is, so you can see it's not a book for beginners. It's, it's specific. Notice it's concepts from. So they ha these are hand-picked concepts that you need. 1961. I just got to give it a whiff. I'm sorry. It smells so good. Ah, it smells so good. In the following pages, we have given an introductory account of the subject of tensor analysis and differential geometry. It is hoped that this volume will be suitable for a one semester course at the graduate level. So there it is, graduate level for students of pure mathematics, as well as for those students whose primary interest is in the study of certain aspects of applied mathematics, including the theory of relativity, fluid mechanics, elasticity, and plasticity theory. Nice. T.Y. Thomas, Los Angeles, California, 1960. Wow. Yeah. Interesting to show some advanced books because I know I, I do a lot of book reviews. A lot of them are calculus books. And uh, although people have been requesting I do more books on, uh, more reviews on basic algebra books, which I should do because I have a ton of algebra and trig books and pre-calc books. Here's a brief look at the contents. It's a very advanced book. Coordinate manifolds, scalars, vectors and tensors, a special skew symmetric tensor, the vector product, the curl of a vector. So some of these things you might be familiar with. Riemann spaces, a finely connected spaces, normal coordinates, some more topics. The Euclidean metric space, and there's a subject index. So it's a pretty small book. It's not that big. Here's, here's where the book starts. You can see the layout of the book. Coordinate manifolds, the first, first section. Then we go to scalars, vectors and tensors. And it looks like someone, that's, I believe, yeah. So it's hard to tell. You see, you see here, you hear how it's not underlined? That's actually someone went through and they underlined that. It's just saying, well, that's a really straight line. Yeah, because, you know, back in the day, and I don't know if people still do this, but people would use rulers. Rulers were a thing. People would... They would, they would go to class or they would take a ruler and they would underline everything. Um, I don't know if it's because highlighters didn't exist or they weren't popular, but I really like this person who made these lines because they look perfect. I mean, it looks like they were made by a machine. But those, those are human-made. They're actually, I mean, they're human-made because they're not found anywhere else. Like... It's a typical example. The first few chapters, there's a lot of work. People, when people start mathematics, this is an example of, of, of 
what happens to human beings when they, when they study math, which is normal. They start off really motivated, you see, and they underline everything. And then the further you go in the book, there's still, okay, there's still some there. The previous owner made it to 26. I, I, I did not write in this book. I, would, I personally would not write in this book. Uh, as a collector, I, 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 and I've become pretty strict about that. If it's a workbook, I'll write in it, but even then, uh, you know, it's, it's, yeah, you see, so there's no more underlining there. So they must have reached a point where they were like, okay, which is normal, or maybe they took a course on this. That's quite possible. Perhaps the previous owner took a course on it. Let's take the, let's take the dust jacket off and look at that. See what it looks like without the dust jacket. There's another book they're recommending, Applications of Finite Groups. Oh, yeah, really interesting stuff. Okay, so let's just take a look at it here. Yeah, nice. Much nicer with the dust jacket, though, right? The dust jacket it does add a level of, um, you know, elegance. It's got to give it a whiff. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, it smells really good. It's just a nice copy. Carefully put it back in the dust jacket, but... Interesting book. Just wanted to make a short video to uh, try and keep this video short to show you uh, one of my more advanced math books. I have a bunch of uh, advanced math books. People always ask, what's a book, uh, you know, for differential geometry? Uh, and I guess this is one, but I don't, I don't necessarily think this is a book for beginners. There's, there's other books out there uh, for differential geometry that are, are better for beginners than this one, right? Same thing with uh, tensor analysis. If you can get books on those subjects that um, are better for beginners, right? This is more advanced. This is just specific concepts um, that you need. But yeah, pretty cool. Oh, oh! Before I forget, someone asked me. Uh, someone left a comment. This is recent. This is recent. Someone asked me about these symbols. They said <laughs> something like, I, I, "I'm going to paraphrase here. Like you're making videos and you're putting these magic the gathering symbols. That's what these are, but." you never make any reference to them or you never talk about them or, or anything like that. Uh, you know, what's, what's your relationship to Magic the Gathering? So the story is I got these as a Christmas present, right? And I thought they're awesome. I was like, wow, this, this is awesome. So the reason I got these as a Christmas present, it's not because I play Magic the Gathering. I, I, I love playing. I just don't have, uh, I don't have any friends <laughs> to play with, right? So, um, so I don't, I don't play. So, but I used to play with one of my buddies and, uh, you know, he lives somewhere else. So we don't play anymore. And he was, he's actually a statistician, but we used to play, but now I just collect because as I collect math books, I collect magic, the gathering cards. So that's why I have them. They were a Christmas present and they're really cool. Um, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check them out. I love these. They're really, really cool. Yeah. I love stuff related to magic and wizards and stuff like that. Which, if you can't tell, right, this is the Math Sorcerer YouTube channel. So that's what you get. Anyways, a fancy book with, with the dust jacket. It's one of the nice ones. Um, kind of advanced, though, but I just thought I would share. Hopefully you've, you've seen something cool and you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, good luck. Take care.